Welcome back learners. Today's lesson is about structure and function of endoplasmic reticulum. The word endoplasmic reticulum. Let's dissect this word before. Endo means inside. Plasma means cytoplasm. All together means endoplasm or endoplasmic mean the portion of cytoplasm inside and the word reticulum means network endoplasmic reticulum means that there is a network present inside the cytoplasm this network was first discovered in 1897 by Garnier which is an interconnected membrane bounded channels or sacs interconnected mean that they are connected with each other it doesn't mean that one channel is going here and the other is going here no they are interconnected linked with each other and they are membrane bounded why and uh, uh, because of uh, the membrane presence in this organelle this organelle is only present in eukaryotic cell prokaryotic cell does not has uh, endoplasmic reticulum it is a distinguished feature between plant cell and animal cell <clears throat> okay the interconnected membrane bounded channels or sacs are known as cisterni the endoplasmic reticulums are of two types. First one is rough endoplasmic reticulum. The other one is smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The name is given to these because of their appearance under the microscope. For the short form, rough endoplasmic reticulum is also known as RER and smooth endoplasmic reticulum is also known as SER. Rough endoplasmic reticulum, it is present adjacent to the nucleus. Here you can see the nucleus is present. Uh, here I would like to tell you the distinguished feature. How you can distinguish that it is a nucleus first. That membrane is not continuous. It has pore. If you remember my nucleus re uh, uh, lesson, I told you that uh, the membrane, the double membrane of nucleus is not a continuous one. It has small pores. The second one, it has this thread-like structure. This is the distinguished feature that tells us that, okay, we are talking about nucleus. So as we said that it is adjacent to the nucleus, here you can see this channels or sac like structure this is rough endoplasmic reticulum if you could see i told you that the name is given because of their appearance under the microscope you can see that this structure is not smooth why because it has some rough surface you can see here so the uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum, it is adjacent to the nucleus and why it appears rough under the microscope because of the presence of ribosomes. So here we have RER, which is rough endoplasmic reticulum and these green small dots are actually the ribosomes. Because of the presence of ribosomes, the function of rough endoplasmic reticulum is to transport proteins. The protein which is produced inside the rough endoplasmic reticulum, it is folded. Then a signal peptide or signal sequence is added to that protein. This is signal sequence. This is our protein. This signal sequence is important to guide the protein. This signal sequence will guide the protein to its destination. It's like a ticket which tells you, okay, I want to go to this station or I want to go to this city. If there is no signal sequence, protein does not know what is its destination. So it is very important. After it's folded, after after it is folded it is packed into the vesicles here you can see that this is a rough endoplasmic reticulum 
we have ribosomes the protein is formed and this protein will go into these small vesicles just like here it means that they are packed and then from here they will go to their destination this destination could be cytoplasm or this destination could be outside the cytoplasm maybe membrane it all depends on this signal sequence where this sequence is going to lead the protein so endoplasmic reticulum is important because of the transportation of the protein if these channels are not present the protein it cannot transport from one part to another part it is just like uh, some railway or the buses which are present in the city what they are doing they are taking the passengers from one stop and then transporting them to another stop if these buses or the trains are not available the passengers they cannot go there and uh, cannot reach to their destination okay the second type of endoplasmic reticulum is smooth endoplasmic reticulum as the name says smooth they have a smooth surface because they do not have any ribosomes and this diagram here we have smooth endoplasmic reticulum Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is very important because it is performing a variety of functions. They are involved in the metabolism of substances, especially lipid, cholesterol and phospholipids. So the metabolism takes place inside the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The presence of smooth endoplasmic reticulum in liver makes them detoxify the harmful substances which enters in the body so the smooth endoplasmic reticulum present in the cells of liver what they are going to do they are going to take the harmful substances then they are going to detoxify and protect the body from their harmful effects they are also involved in nerve impulses in the muscles and in the neuron cells the signals they are sent through the nerve impulses for example, a signal sent from cell 1 to cell 2. So the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, they are going to help to send the signal from cell 1 to cell 2. If, if the smooth endoplasmic reticulum are not present, the signal or nerve impulse, they cannot travel from one cell to another cell. Another important function of smooth endoplasmic reticulum is that they store and release calcium ions. Calcium ions, they are important ions inside the body and their storage and their release is um, given to smooth endoplasmic reticulum. I hope you will understand the concept of endoplasmic reticulum. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section and also like my video and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell, bell icon to keep yourself updated with my latest videos. Thank you very much.